the resolution regarding the proposed amendment to the Constitution, Minnesota Constitution has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Uh, Director Ali. Thank you very much. Is this is related to page amendment? Yes. This. Okay. I, 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 I thought no on this resolution. Okay. Okay. Um, any other discussion? I don't support the page amendment. I do support this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Director Ali. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, the debate amendment is the proposed amendment to the Minnesota State Constitution that will provide all children with a civil right to quality public education. So in other words, according to the page, uh, Justice Page, and uh, there's a gap education, there's a disparity in all 80 counties, 87 counties of the state of Minnesota. And, and in order to make the change, one has to come up with something. So there's a need, you know? Uh, the black and brown students are not proficient in, in, in math, science, reading. And, and you all know that the facts. And, and therefore, one has to uh, be accountable of that. So this is high level advocacy. And this is state level. It's, it's not something specifically talking to Minneapolis public schools. It's talking about 87 counties where all the disparities exist, all 87 counties. And these uh, private citizens are trying their best to create awareness and, and to bring the high level accountability to our legislators. So I am not sure even if this is, this is something that we need to involve other than we are one of the districts of 87 counties. I, I don't know what's the special interest of us. In fact, we are the supposed to be the people who will be, who are supposed to be advocating for, for these students who are, uh, are not proficient in math and science. Because if we have the largest black and proud students in our district, any individual, including our, our, our guests here, that if anybody comes with an idea that can improve, I think we should give a, a room. We should not try to uh, uh, prove them wrong, even without seeing the results of this. And, and the Beige <coughs> Amendment is, is, is about bringing this pandemic of, of, of disparities. It's, it's another pandemic. And, 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 and we can't, we can, you know, we, we have the numbers here. Unfortunately, you know, in Minneapolis public schools, we have the numbers here. You know, you know, the kids we 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 are not meeting the needs of black and brown students. Period. And this disparity exists in all 87 counties in the state of Minnesota. I I, I don't know why we, we are involved in this, and trying to uh, address it as page amendment is talking to us. I rest in my case, ma'am. I'll you. be voting no. This resolution. Thank, Thank you. you. Director Ali. Director Caprini? I think Director Ali to your question, why are we why is Minneapolis getting involved? I think Director in answered that question when he said, What what's the outcome of this amendment, this constitutional change? Um, maybe to Minneapolis public schools, maybe nothing, but maybe um, it could be a catastrophe for us. And so this resolution just says, okay, we agree that there should be a fundamental right to quality education. We do believe that, but we wanna make sure it's funded. We wanna make sure that it's not measured, you know, uh, with standardized tests. Um, and that's just what this resolution is talking about. And so yes, yes and. So yes, we support the amendment and we need to see these changes or no, but no, we don't support the amendment, but if you edit this language, we could. Um, uh, so Director Ali, 
Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam Chair. I think it, the, the debate, this debate belongs to the state capital, not here, in my opinion. That's the people who are, the, this is above our pay grade. That's the legislators that we have elected them, and they need to have the responsibility. They are accountable of making sure that each child in the state of Minnesota gets better education, regardless of their background and ethnicity. Okay, so, so I, I hear that uh, Director Cabrini mentioned about the uh, finance. That's the, what legislature is supposed to, that's what they need to discuss about it as they are going to have the debate on this. But rather now, it seems when we rush this before the debate take place, I believe people have may say, Minneapolis public schools have this opinion on this matter. Again, this is, this is not our mandate, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Director Ellis